All right, everybody, welcome back to Rock Talk Live. This is our amazing Facebook Live broadcast that we do every once in a while. Uh, I'll get right into my guest today. This guy, number three, Daniel Descalzo. His formal name is Daniel, but we call him Danny DD, Double D, whatever we want to call him. It all works. Say what's up to the people. This is Hi, people. live on How Facebook. How you guys doing, Rocky fans? All right, so if this is your first time on Facebook Live, Rocky's, uh, Rocky's Rock Talk Live, uh, we need your questions. So if you have any questions for us, for Danny, uh, send them in on the right side. And uh, we're looking forward to connecting with you guys as many as we can over the next uh, 10 minutes or so. And uh, as I was driving in today, I live south, I realized that we should do a little uh, a Vote Rocks plug. So I got this Vote Rocks t-shirt. Uh, so Danny, let's start out. Just, uh, just encourage our fans to vote for the Rockies players. We have Cargo, uh, Trevor, and uh, Nolan who are really close in the voting. So just give a shout out to your boys. Yeah, guys, we, we really need your help in, in getting all these guys to the All-Star game. Um, you know, right now we're, we're trailing a little bit, but these guys need to be in the lead. Uh, you know, nobody should be starting at third base over our guy here. Not, uh, Story's having a great year. Cargo's having a great year. So we really need you guys to get out and vote and, and send our guys to the All-Star game. Next year we'll get Danny on the ballot, too. <laughs> I'll tell you what, he's being nice. I think it's a complete joke that our guys aren't number one, especially Nolan's story. These guys are very deserving, so get out there. You can vote five times a day for seven days. So if you start voting today, you can get the max number of 35 votes. So that's huge. We really need your help, guys. Uh, we got some questions coming in, but I'm going to start out with the first question for Danny. Uh, when I first met you a couple years ago, we did a live Twitter chat, and I learned that you like to cook. Do. So, uh, so what is the, your go-to dish? What's the favorite thing that you like to cook? Okay, so I come from an Italian family. My, my grandmother's a really good Italian cook, and so she has taught me to make a couple of her signature dishes, uh, one of them being her chicken cacciatore. But my favorite is uh, there's, uh, her, her Italian meatballs, uh, you know, really good over, over some pasta or some polenta. So that's my, uh, my go-to Italian dish that I cook. What, uh, what's your favorite home-cooked meal? Would that be it? So she yeah, I, I like that one, but I, I like to grill out in the in the barbecue in, in the off season. Uh, you know, always trying new stuff. Um, so I get pretty adventurous in the kitchen. Perfect. Uh, we had a question from James Begley. Uh, a pretty simple one, but what do you like about being a Rocky? What is it about this club that you enjoy? These teammates and the players that we have in this clubhouse. What is I, it? I love the guys in this team. We we have a great group. Uh, I thank you guys by uh, by watching us every night. You, you've seen how hard these guys play, and uh, you know we're we're getting better. You know, uh, we're on the right track right now. Um, we've got a lot of good pitching coming up. Uh, we've been playing real, real well lately. So you know, I just love the group of guys that we have and, and how they compete every night. Absolutely. Keeping up with fan questions here, Austin Benavides. I think I pronounced it correctly. Had a question. Probably uh, not. You probably didn't pronounce it correctly. <laughs> probably not. Uh, who is who's the funniest player? Although I would say this guy. This guy. <laughs> he likes to stir it up. He's always giving me a hard time, whatever. But who who do you think's the funniest dude on the team? People say I have good one-liners, but I'm not going to say myself. Uh, <laughs> you know who's actually really funny is is Cargo. Uh, Cargo, he's pretty witty, you know, he, he speaks English really well, so he, he's up on the, uh, the American sarcasm and lingo, and he has this thing where he likes to do his own remixes to country songs, which is, which is pretty funny, so, so Cargo is, is pretty funny, and the clubhouse keeps it light. Venezuelan guy with country songs? It's yeah, it's, it's, you, know, you don't see that very much. Okay, another one for me. Uh, so you're a big Chili Peppers fan? I am. Northern California guy. They're, yeah. they're a Southern California band, but um, you've been using Danny California as your walk-up song for a while. Uh, but I want to know you karaoke. If you were, to ha if you had to sing a, sing a Chili Peppers song for karaoke, which one would you do? Or so have I, you done? <laughs> I, I actually have recently changed my walk-up song. I had, really? I had Danny California for a couple years now, and now I've gone back to more of my Northern California roots, E-40, okay. uh, Tell uh -huh. Me When To Go, which is a, another classic. But if I was to sing a Chili Pepper song, uh, uh, karaoke, I'd probably have to go with Californication. Uh, you know, I, I don't think it's got too many difficult high notes. I could probably probably cover the rest of the notes okay, and I think I know most of the words, so I'd be all right. Andrew Jansen, E40 is cool. So yeah, you got a fellow there we go. In there. It shows how well prepared I am for these. I just kind of show <laughs> up and say improper, wrong information. No, that's all right. I'm, I don't mind correcting you. And I'm wearing a shirt from 2012. Uh, all right, another one from me. Uh, so you like the Peppers, E40, obviously. Who's your guilty pleasure? You got a boy band thing going on guilty with the white pleasure. shoes and the white trip. <laughs> no, people said that I reminded them of a young, uh, a young Joey Fatone the other day in my in my white outfit when we uh, <laughs> we went to Miami. But I don't really have guilty pleasure. I'll, I'll turn on Spotify on the uh, pop hits every once in a while on my ride to the park. Uh, but no one artist in particular. All right. Uh, I had a good question here from Nico Gonzalez. I always wonder this too, because typically it's the pitchers who pick the jersey for the day. What's your favorite jersey color to wear? Uh, in I like the purple ones. Um, for some reason, I just feel like it goes good with my cleats that I have this year. Mm, so, fresh. Uh, you know, the, the purple's good. Purple really pops out there. Yep, purple Mondays, purple every day. Uh, Kyle Kurichiak. Well, that's a doozy. Kurich. 
Kerchiak. Kucherak. Kucherak. You're there smarter you than I am. Um, he wants to know your favorite ballpark to play in outside of Colorado. And I'm going to say you can't pick Bush Stadium. I, because, I won't pick Bush. Right. Uh, I got two. Uh, I like the history and the mystique of Wrigley Field. I just think the, the atmosphere there is great. Uh, but I also love playing in San Diego. Uh, you can't beat the surface and the, uh, you know, the weather and the city of San Diego. So those are my two favorite ballparks. Okay. Uh, I don't know if I, if I prepped you with this question, so we might throw right. a curveball. So you got a nice, perfectly trimmed beard here. <laughs> How long would it take you to grow a beard like Charlie? Like a week, maybe? A Charlie Blackman beard. <laughs> I, grow a beard <laughs> I grow a beard pretty quickly, and I, I usually keep it around this length. Uh, I'm not really into the unkept Charlie Blackman look, but kind of I'm it. sure if I gave it a, I don't know, maybe a, a couple months, but uh, like I said, that's that's too much. That's way too aggressive for me. That, <laughs> that works for Charlie and Miller and some other guys, but that's not my style. Just a laid back dude. I like this question from Jake Smith too. Uh, if you didn't play baseball professionally, what would you want as your job? What did oh, you major man. in college? That's a great question. I majored in, in economics and only because we didn't have a business major at UC Davis, um, but I, I really, I really don't know what I would do. I, I always have wanted to be a baseball player. Um, Julian mentioned my, my. No, no, my, I'm not. I'm not. You're not allowed to mention me by I name. I know. I'm oh, like the anonymous sorry. guy. <laughs> this guy over here had mentioned earlier that I'm into cooking. So may, maybe uh, go to culinary school and, and see where that took me. So. Perfect. All right, another one for me. Uh, so your brother-in-law recently wrote a book a couple years ago. Uh, so this is my show, our show. We can do whatever we want. Yeah, we so can whatever. Um, let's uh, let's give a shout out to to your brother-in-law. Let's sell some books for him. All right, my brother-in-law Matt Sullivan. He uh, he wrote the movie uh, 30 minutes or less a couple years ago with Nick Swords and Danny McBride about the uh, if you don't get your pizza in 30 minutes or less, they'll give your money back. Very funny movie. Um, but last year he wrote a book called The Orphan. Self-published it. Sell it on Amazon. It's a uh, it's kind of like a little bit of sci-fi-ish, young adult, uh, you know, easy read, really entertaining. So go check it out. The Orphans by Matt Sullivan. Get it on Amazon. Orphans, Matt Sullivan, go buy it. Uh, I saw a question come in from Todd Parkhurst, which I like, and it's also an opportunity for you to shout out to, uh, to UC Davis, your Aggies, right? Yes, uh, Aggies. So Todd wants to know, have you been watching the College World Series? What are your thoughts on that? And then the floor is yours to give a little shout out to, to your alma mater. Yeah, I always keep track of the College World Series. Uh, you know, I was never fortunate enough to, to be in a College World Series, but you know it's fun to see those guys getting to have the chance to, to represent their school and uh, on that stage and play on ESPN and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, big shout out to the UC Davis Aggies. Uh, you know, doing big things back in Northern California. I always keep track of them. Try to try to make it back in the off season. Support them. Um, so, you know, big shout out to UC Davis baseball. Yeah, baby. All right, Andrea. Yes, we have a game today. It's 6:40. You should know that. Uh, <laughs> we always have a game for the exactly. most part. Exactly. Yeah, every day. And we actually had a stretch of 27 days in a row. So it's you guys have been lucky to have a long off days recently. I don't think I've ever heard of that. So, all right, um, another question from me. What is your, your favorite vacation that you've gone on? And what is your, your dream vacation in the off season? Um, let's see, a couple of years ago, we did, uh, me and my wife did Europe in the off season. We kind of centered it around uh, seeing a Barcelona soccer game. So we hit Florence and Rome first, went and saw Barcelona play Valencia in Valencia, Spain. Uh, made our way to Barcelona and then it finished up in Paris. So, took two weeks over in Europe. Um, it was a great trip. But I, I also do love the love the beach. So, we try to go to get to Hawaii. You know, be on the west coast, not too far. I really love Kauai. You know, laid back, old school Hawaii. Hang on the beach. Uh, a couple of mai tais, beer maybe. Uh, it's nice, nice and re relaxing. Definitely. All right, uh, Brianna Isabella had a question that came in. Uh, so she asked what your favorite position is. And for you, this is an important question because you play everywhere, literally every position on the infield, first, second, third, short. And you don't just play them. You're not just a body, a legitimate con uh, contributor and do a, a heck of a job at each position. So how about you rank those positions in terms of your comfort level? Okay. And of course, you're going to say whatever helps the team because that's <laughs> what good guys do. But, uh, you know, just I, I, get the, I, get, I get this question a lot, you know, being a guy that plays multiple positions. Um, you know, I got drafted as a second baseman, played a lot of second base in the minor league, so that's probably my most comfortable spot. Um, but the last couple of years, played mostly at shortstop, so that's probably number two. And then the corners, uh, third and first, you know, obviously I don't play a lot of third here with, uh, with no one over there at third base, but, you know, that's probably three first I have the least experience at, you know, but I'm working hard to, to get comfortable over there, trying to get some tips from, from our guy Mark. and. Uh, you know, but whatever whatever spot it, uh, I'm playing that day, that's that's my favorite one. And that's the, the the honest truth. I mean, this guy is a teammate. Like I said, I think I said this to everybody, but this is a great guy. I love love having him around, and oh, you know, he, he gives eye. me a hard time. But uh, but it's this all is a good fun, dude. though. Yeah, all exactly. 
Uh, we'll, we'll do a couple more. We're about six minutes in. Uh, Chris Berg had a follow-up to the soccer question. He asked what your favorite soccer team is. So uh, it could be an international team if you want to shout out to your, your hometown earthquakes. Obviously, we have the Rapids here who are doing a great job this season. You soccer know, I, question. You I, know don't, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really <laughs> keep track of the MLS. I don't follow much. But I, I just like to watch. Uh, I especially like watching the, the Euro Cup and the uh, uh, Copa America that's going on right now. Uh, you know, that, that's entertaining for me as to see these guys represent their country. Um, you know, I, it's impressive what these guys can do out there with a the soccer ball. I've also been known to play a little FIFA on, on PlayStation. You know, I was got into that for, for a little while. So I don't necessarily have a favorite club. I just enjoy, you know, watching the athletes at the peak of their of their sport do what they do. No doubt. Uh, so this year you were, you were in our our spots, TV spots, our commercials. So we filmed three of them. We had baseball analytics. We had... Uh, we had three of them, so you were part of all of them. What, uh, what, which one was your favorite to film, and, and to, to look back, which is your favorite commercial that we did this year? Oh, I'm gonna have to I go. Black party I, I'm gonna have it, was, it was it was the iBlack party, analytics, and the beard. So those were the three. Well, somehow they all turned into like the Charlie Blackman commercials. <laughs> Charlie kind of hijacked the each, each scene and kind of took it over. So he really did. Um, I don't like Charlie's iBlack commercial. It's dumb. Uh, my favorite one is is the one where I have a nice speaking part where we're talking about baseball <laughs> analytics and. Uh, you know, I will let everyone know that, that that tongue twister they gave me, I think I nailed that line like 25 takes in a row, you know, well, didn't mess up one time. So well, I, will, I will pat myself on the back for that one. I'll pat you too. And I'm going to pat myself as well. Because when we were doing those scripts, I said, give Danny whatever lines, he'll deliver them. You give him the toughest ones and he'll, and he'll do it. And I remember the first take, he nailed it. And everybody kind of looked around and they were like, uh... Okay, yeah, so we'll do I'm, it again. I'm going to be clearing a spot on my mantle for my, my commercial Emmy Award <laughs> do, for uh, this office. Do you remember the, the line? A BLT with an uh, OJ? Let's see. Let's see if I, I, I'll, take a, I'll take a BLT with an OJ and a PB&J ASAP, something like that. But the you know, delivery was, was outstanding, if I will say so. But myself. seriously, he got it right the first time. But the way these commercials work, it takes a full day. Like, to film that 30-second spot literally takes like hours and hours. So he got it right the first time, and then the director was like, all right, let's do it 25 more times. Yeah. And it was perfect every time. It's like, all right, anyway. And it was on a time crunch. I had to get all that in perfectly in like a eight second window. Yeah. All right, one more for me, uh, then we'll get back to the fans here. So last night, uh, we tweeted, we tweeted the, the entire game using emojis. So some people hated it, some people loved it, but it was a lot of fun. So if you had, what's your favorite emoji or the one that you use the most, like text messaging? and The one I use that. the most is probably the, uh, the like the, face like oops that one you know I, I i tend to send that one to my wife she's mad at me i'll be like Ooh, it's my fault so I, I like that one it's a good one you can use it for a bunch of different things so i like that one okay we'll do one more serious question and then we'll call it a, call it an afternoon so we can get danny on his way get preparing for tonight's game uh lillian up here just had a question um how long have you been playing baseball and this could just be an opportunity to to talk about when you were coming up, what it means to play Little League Baseball and just get kids involved and, and uh, an opportunity to, to talk about why it's so important to, to just play play ball. For me, I've been playing baseball as long as I can remember. Uh, my dad tells me stories of uh, of, of me playing uh, baseball in the backyard with a ball when I was like two years old, you know, him pitching it to me and me trying to hit it. I um, mean, you know, all the way up through Little League, my, my dad was, a, was my coach and, and really tried to teach me how to play the game hard, uh, you know, how to respect the game. And you know, kind of instill that that passion and love for the game that, that I try to display today. So, uh, you know, I've been playing for a long time. I'm 29, so probably the better part of my life, 25, 27 years. Um, and it's 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 the best game in the world. Well said. All right, last one, and this is for me. And then, uh, if you guys have any questions, keep sending them in. This will automatically turn into a Facebook post, and maybe we can answer some more offline later. Uh, but my question is a would you rather? And this uh, one I know I didn't prep you no. for. All right, so would you rather have a head the exact size and shape of a basketball or feet the exact size and shape of shoeboxes? So, giant square feet or a huge round head? I'm going to go with huge round head. <laughs> I think that would be easier. Uh, it's going everyday life with a giant head as opposed to uh, you know giant boxes for feet probably hard to find shoes that fit probably hard to to run around and stuff so I'm, I think with a large head you might have a large brain be smarter than everyone else so I'm gonna go with the big head that's a good call all right good answers everybody thank you very much for tuning in uh, we appreciate it rock talk live we'll be doing it uh, as often as we can but make sure you thank Danny D uh, for spending some some time with you guys get out there and vote rocks and uh, we'll see you guys next time. Yeah, vote for all the Rockies that are on the ballot. And we need to send those guys to the All-Star game. Um, and Jules, let's pound it out. Can't Spoiled. call me Jules. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll catch you later, guys.